Hi, everyone. It's it's Mary Olson. I'm Reader's Advisory Librarian at the Medina Library, and I'm here with Roxana Rothburn, who is our Seville Librarian, and Roxana is going to tell us a little bit about herself and what she does at the library and about a book that's been a favorite of hers and she wants to share with you. So, Roxana, hi. Thank you for joining the show. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, hello, everybody. Um, like Mary said, I'm Roxana. Um, so, I'm actually a fairly new librarian at Seville. I just graduated in May. Um, and so I do all kinds of things. I do all ages. So I get to do story times, um, go out to schools and talk to them about books for summer reading and things like that, um, programming. Um, I also supervise the pages at the Seville Library. We're really small. There's only 10 of us there. So we're like a really tight knit, close group of uh, people, um, so it's pretty fun. Um, get to talk about books and movies and all kinds of things that I love. So just like all kinds of things that I get to do. Um, so. That's the joy of being at a yeah. small library. You get to do everything. I do like that. I love that. Sometimes I'm like, it could be overwhelming, but it's actually um, very, very fulfilling. So I love that. Um, oh, that's great. That's great. So um, I'll talk about my book that I picked for you guys. Um, so I chose Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. It was actually very, very hard for me to pick a book that's near and dear to me because I read like six to seven books at a time. So um, I fly through them like, like that. And uh, But this one was one of the first horror novels that I um, read and I really love. Um, I read it in middle school, I think, which I think might be a little young to read. <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, I just, I really love vampires and I still do a little bit. So, um, this book is just, I love it because you, you have this character, Louis, who I actually really don't like. I actually like Lestat, the vampire. Um, but Louis is this character and he just, um, is talking to an interviewer about, um, what it's like to be a vampire and he's kind of whiny but then you get to meet Lestat who's just kind of crazy and wild and just does whatever he wants and um so you get like these conflicting characters I love relationships where they hate each other but then they kind of love each other at the same time so like they have this bond and they meet um this little child I think there's like a plague going on in this book so I didn't even think about that but I guess that's fitting for what's going on <laughs> in our world <laughs> but um so they meet this little girl and they kind of accidentally on purpose turn her into a vampire. And so then it's just, you go through all of these emotions. You never really think about if a kid was to become a vampire, like their brain is still evolving and their emotions are still evolving. So, you know, you have a woman trapped in a child's body and like, what would that be like? Um, so yeah, I guess I just, I always really like that um, about it. Um, just the idea it's sad in parts and it also, like I said, can be annoying with Louie, but this book, like I've read it like four or five times my whole life. So I, I love it. In fact, I think I just added, re-added it to my to read list on Goodreads. So um, it sounds yeah. like it's one of those books that probably has a little bit of something for everybody. It sounds like the characters are really complex and there's a lot of development in the characters, but um, would you say it's one of those books? It's, it's like a genre defining book. Yeah. You think of it probably started the whole vampire thing. Oh yes. I, I, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. I think I think Anne Rice just like she owns vampire and like New Orleans. Like that's just like a dream to go there and just walk the streets that they talk about in this book and everything and just kind of learn like what it could have been like to live during that time, like on plantations and I don't know. It's just, it's really romantic in a way, but also kind of spooky at the same time. So. And the city and the the setting in New Orleans is a really big part of the story too. So it's one of those books that have lots of different appeal. Oh, yes. I'm so glad you, you picked it and shared it with us. Thank yeah. you. Thank so you. Roxana, <laughs> tell us what you've been doing to stay sane at home. Um, so like I said, like I do a lot of things, um, at the library and so at home you think I would be doing things like organizing and stuff but I'm not so to stay sane I've just been like knitting um we have three giant dogs that live here two cats and a rabbit so we have all those animals I've knitted two blankets since I've been home also um gardening gardening has really like 
saved me at this point, just being outside and getting my hands on the dirt because making things grow just really, I don't know that, I guess that's, what's really helping me find a purpose. Right. Yeah. Now. That's a great yeah. thing to be. It's a great thing to be doing right now. What are you growing flowers or veggies or what? Everything flowers, veggies. I have a little mini greenhouse um, that I've started some peppers. I think I have like radishes and cauliflower. That's really doing great. Nothing else really. <laughs> so yeah. You have to have hardy things right now because we're still getting freezing temperatures at night. You do not know how hard I want to go outside and just plant things. I have raised bed gardens. I want to plant them right now and I can't. <laughs> so it's very, yeah. right. although I planted lettuce last year and I said, I'm not planting lettuce this year. It was annoying and it just came back on its own. So that's kind of, <laughs> that was a slap to the face. I was like, okay, I guess I have lettuce now. Well, tell us what you're looking forward to when the library reopens. So first, I really miss putting holds on items. I have like a long list of stuff I've been writing down and I just, I always like forget and go on to put a hold and I was like, oh no, I can't. So I wanna put holds on things because I miss getting things from the library. And also I really miss the people. I was just starting to get, the know, get to know the community at Seville. And sometimes when I drive through there, I see them and I'm just like, hi, I remember you. <laughs> so I'm really um, hoping that when I can go back that They'll remember me and I'll hopefully remember them and start to learn them about them a little bit more. So, well, I sure they will remember you because you give great service and you're a book lover and a lover of children's and programs and events. So, hopefully, it won't be too long before we're back reunited with everybody who loves the library. Yes. So thank you again for being on the show. It was just great talking to you and getting to know you a little bit better. And uh, I will see you at the library soon. All right, thanks, bye. Thank you, bye.